Hey guys, this week's video is a critique of our Airbnb in Granada, Spain. Hopefully you like this type of content. I think it's kind of interesting, something I would like to watch. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let's go critique our Airbnb. Hey guys, we've been at this Airbnb in Granada for seven days. We paid around uh, $64.52 per night for each of the nights we are here. That includes the cleaning fees and all of that. So I totally get you get what you pay for. But when we did our walkthrough when we first got here, that was like our initial reaction once we got here. But now that we've been here seven days, I'd like to tell you what I liked and what I didn't like about this Airbnb. We'll start here in the bedroom. And um, the first thing that I would say is the bed and the pillows were comfortable. They were fine. But there's no place to put our clothes. So you might go, well, you have this big wardrobe. Well, there are a total of six hangers and extra blankets, extra pillows and iron, no hangers here, no shelves. And all of these drawers have stuff in them except for this little teeny tiny one. So if I was here for a weekend, not a big deal. So we ended up living out of our suitcases instead of being able to unpack. Also, the street noise in this Airbnb was super loud. I did read the reviews. I just didn't think that it would be that big of a deal, but it was. And if we come down um, and look at the bathroom, so the likes were that it came stocked. We have toilet paper, we have shampoo, we have body wash, extra towels, hair dryer, and we have a tub. Now, here's what I don't like. We have the smallest tub you've ever seen. Now, if it wasn't wet in there, I would get in there to show you how small it is, but it is small. And the other thing would be this shelving unit. Where am I supposed to put my stuff? There's really no counter space. So I have to like put my stuff in there. So get rid of stuff like that. That's just, again, this video is my opinion and not everybody will agree with my opinion. So if we come back to the living room, from an aesthetic and the decor, it's fine. No problem there. But this couch is the hardest couch one of the top 10 hardest couches I've ever sat on. I get that it folds into a bed, but I'm not a fan. These poof ball seats, no one sits on that crap. Not unless you're a little kid, otherwise it's a tripping hazard. So we did have a TV, it's a smart TV, that's a plus. The problem with that is our HDMI didn't work and we know how to use HDMI. And if we come into the kitchen and excuse the trash, here's what I loved. Big fridge, freezer. It was well stocked. We had plates and all the dishes we need. And we have these great appliances, a toaster, coffee pot, and there was a microwave there. But where's the microwave? Hey, let's turn around. It's on the floor in the living room. And why is that? There's no plugs. The only plug is right above the stove and you have to move the microwave on top of the stove for it to reach. So if you've just cooked something and the stove top's hot, you can't do it. So that would be what I don't like. That's really the tour. Otherwise, other than the noise, um, I would give this a three star out of five. I would maybe come back for a weekend, but that's it. Otherwise, I would not stay here. The Airbnb hosts, they were great. They communicated well. This just didn't fit and check all my boxes. Thanks. Hopefully you liked this week's uh, Airbnb critique video. And if you didn't, leave a comment below. If you did, leave a comment below. Like, share, subscribe, do all the things. Check out our blog at slowtravelchronicles.com. And we do have an Instagram at slowtravelchronicles also. So check both of those out and we'll see you next week.